Welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. We're joined by Jordan Jensen. Nick is on assignment right now. He's in Kabul, Afghanistan. Do you know this, what's going on over there? What's going on in Kabul? Mm, I don't know. It's too complicated to even explain. I don't even know. Do you know any like uh, anything about war or anything like that? Do girls do girls don't like 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 wars or anything? No? I like war. You do. Yeah. You have like a favorite war. I mean, it's everybody's favorite. World War Two. I don't know. No, that's a that's that's like ba- that's like a basic bitch. No like way! A, everybody yeah. loves World War Two. Every Karen says what World do you War Two. So many people Every, died. No way! U.S. Civil, dude. Every. Oh yeah, US that is Civil. a good one. To be honest, low key, one of my favorites is Cold. I think Cold is hilarious. Cold. Cold War. Yeah, but it's not an actual war. It's just yeah, but a it's name. so good. Just a bunch of just a bunch of this. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I also like um, the one that's going on right now. Did in the you see East. that show, The Americans? I tried to start watching it recently. No, I've just been watching The Wire. Oh, yeah. really? Really makes me want to say the N word. It makes me say the N word. That's what you're taking away from The Wire. I can't stop. The first season? Are you kidding me? I got on stage after watching it. Like I watched it in the condo, <laughs> and, the, and I was like, because me and Jake are just running around, uh-huh. watching it. You're running around watching it. Or so you're like on the subway it, watching it loud. Every time they say the M word, they l- you laugh on the train really loud. You're yeah. like, that's funny. Did you guys get a load of this? I hold it up like this. That's so funny. <laughs> I saw I saw Django once uh, when I lived in D.C. in like a an all black movie theater, and I got like nervous when like Leo was saying it. And I know he said it hard. Everyone the hard in the theaters was dying of laughter. They everyone thought it was really funny. The, that the that the racisms were very yeah. funny so i was like um so then i started laughing al- uh, along i said it everyone yeah, laughed <laughs> no everyone <laughs> this black guy got on the train <laughs> yesterday and he like got on he was like all right ladies and gentlemen ready and i was like oh here we go and then he proceeded to do like the most moving modern dance i've he looked like a street rat and he did like the most moving modern dance about the song was about like love and you're getting your heart broke it was unbelievable he had like a, a boom box or something yeah it was yeah. a mate and it was like he was doing On all the subway these, yeah really it was incredible and he kicked an old lady in the head or something he didn't he didn't do that they got rid of, of uh showtime showtime in new york city i haven't you seen one what? of those in years what's going on do you go to prospect park uh yeah, like nighttime, usually between the hours of three and six a.m. Yeah, and just kind of in the, in the wooded areas. Yeah, um, there's just homeless men who are allowed bathroom, to live in the there. men's bathroom areas. You got to get them out of there. Oh, in Prospect Park. Yeah, like in little coves. I think those are homosexuals. No, they're homeless that was a, that was the, sexuals. The joke I was making was that th- you know, I was cruising in yeah, Prospect I Park. Yeah, Ian. Ian goes to the park for that. Ian used to cruise. <laughs> he has a cruise face. It's really intense. What's the face? It's r- I can't do it, but I make him do it to me because it's so crazy. He like walks by and he like does this look that's like it's crazy. It, wait, he looks wait, he, show me. He like walks by and he goes like, I can't do it. It's like, it's like. Was it like a? No, 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 no. It's like it's like, I can't do it. I Maybe can't do he does it. Like this. No, he doesn't. It's do that? something with his weird eyes that make you. It's like it's sweet, but it's also like we could fuck. It's crazy. Really? Ask him to do it. Say really? do your cruising face. It will make you be like, yeah, let's go to the woods right now. That's crazy. It's not gonna make me want to. It will. It will. I'm telling you. It's I'm not. not gonna I'm the really last person on this planet that would ever fuck Ian, and his cruising face makes me want to become a man so that I can fuck. You're him the, the ass. last person on the planet that would fuck him. 100. percent If you're the last, I'm the second to last. Really? Well, yeah, one time he, I remember he said to he said to us that he considered himself an eight and a half. And we, I think, I know. I, was, I just remember high. how hard Stav laughed at that. I remember Stav just, yeah. just like shaking and uh, dying. Uh, we did Stav's podcast recently, and he said something like that. And Stav had to be like, "You're just mistaken. It's very sweet that you feel that way, but you are mistaken." Yeah, it's. <laughs> but it's great. It's. He great. looks. I told him this before, but he looks like Chuck E. Cheese. He does. He looks like Chuck E. Cheese. He looks like Austin Powers. No, not at all. Yeah. I look more like Austin Powers. No way. He has that, yeah, bait. Like, he has that weird sexual his constant and the teeth. His teeth I think, are I like guess, like, spiritually, he's, looks like he's Austin Powers. But to- Dude, he dressed up as Austin Powers for Halloween, and I was like, you have arrived. This uh-huh. is what, how you should always. I, I watched the first one recently, and I really, my girlfriend turned to me, and she said it herself. She's like, I really didn't realize how much of my personality I've based yeah. off of that. Yeah. It's one of the best movies. I was kind of the Austin Powers kid in elementary school. Yeah. 
Did I ever tell you that story about my friend went to college with a guy named Austin Powers? No. Can you? <laughs> That's amazing. I got his driver's license. That's Can awesome. you imagine that guy's life? Like the first I movie came out, he's like, it's going to be six months of yeah, baby, yeah. Then I'll go back to normal. Austin Powers 2 comes out. He's like, okay, first of all, they can't keep the magic going. It sucks that he has to say if Austin. If you met a guy Austin. named Austin Powers today in 2024, like a vein would pop up on your forehead to keep you from saying, yeah, baby, yeah. 100%. Do I make you horny, baby? I wouldn't let the vein appear. I would just start saying it. <laughs> You'd fuck him. I would, I would you would fuck him. You would yeah, fuck him. Totally. I fucked him because his name was Austin Powers. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are blowing <laughs> comics on the road, and I think that they're doing it because they're like, I blew this person. Because it was Austin Powers? No, but that reminded me of it. Like, uh, there's a lot of my friends are being like, this girl just offered me a blowjob. Like, there's a lot of women being like, I'll suck your dick. I won't have sex with you. But then they'll blow the person. Then they'll be like, I blew whatever. Head only. Head only. Mm -hmm. Like a collector's token. Yeah, that's happened to me before. Really? Yeah, but I said, um, actually, I'd rather just go down on you. Nice. While you call me uh, the Kaysler. That's because you're a beautiful lesbian. <laughs> Just kidding, dude. I would, uh, I would never do that with some stranger. Disgusting. It is Wait, disgusting. Uh, but isn't that normal? Like someone is like a uh, performing and is fairly successful, and then a girl wants to. I just think swab them off. No, I've never had that impulse. I've never seen somebody in the. You've never like gone to a Bon Jovi concert. And you're like, I would, I would really like to suck that man's penis. No, I've gone to a concert and been like, I'd really like to date, and then eventually marry that man and <laughs> procreate with him. But I've never been like, I'd, I'd like, like to, to blow date. him. You'd like to like just decide like, are we doing Thai or Chinese tonight? Oh yeah. Yeah. You'd yeah. like to like get into an argument because you had a dream the night before. And Dude, I just did that the other day. You Holy got, shit. You, why do they? Why do you? Why do you? Because fuck, it's so hard to wake do you up. Do you guys that? are so mean in the dreams. You're so why mean, you and you always cheat that? on me. You always cheat on me when I'm dreaming. Oh. And then I wake up and you're sitting there, and I'm like, you suck. You were just so mean in the dream. <laughs> and you're always unapologetic in the dream. You're never like, you're never like, I'm sorry, I did this thing. You're always like, I don't care about you. Does you every up, girl do this? I I think that's a lie. I think it's like you guys are just saying it that literally happened real three thing. days ago. What did he do in the dream? He was like, I walked in on him making out with a girl and she was being all clamory and like ah. a girl, you know, no, just some random girl on the staircase. I know what it's from. And then I was like, was it from the time that he was making out with a girl in a staircase? No, I just it's because it, what it is, is it's my girl. Own, he cheating on you. It's my own shit. Like I do fucked up shit when I feel threatened in previous relationships. Like I'll feel threatened and then I'll like You'll, develop an emotional affair with somebody uh, and it feels skeevy. So then yeah. I think everybody's doing that to me. But and then in the it's always like this. It's always like, well, I guess we're not dating anymore. And I'm like, what? Really? And he's like, yeah, sorry. I just don't want to. But that also is. You broke up with him in the morning? No, no. In the dream, it's always like that. It's like, well, all this girl's sucking my dick, so I guess we're not together anymore. Oh, I'm he like, dumped you. Well, oh, that's a gentleman's thing to do. That's a that's a gentlemanly thing. I always have dreams that my that people I love are like, I don't care about you. Really? I, I used to have that dream when I was a kid that I was at, at a gas station. And my parents uh, were walking in front of me, and then they just were, kept walking faster and faster. And I, I kept, and then they left me, and I was like... Oh. Yeah. I always had a dream as a kid that I was stuck in a car that was moving. Like I was in the back seat and then I had to climb into the front and drive the car and it was out of control. I, yeah, I have the dream where the, the brakes don't work yeah. a lot. What is that? That's got to mean something. Yeah, yeah. I was saying this to Nick like a couple of years ago, but dreams often for me are like that I'm going somewhere, but I never actually get there. Like I, I oh, yeah. yeah, I don't really ever have sex dreams. I have a dream where it's like I'm like in a car with a chick and she's like, let's go somewhere and fuck. I'm oh, but I yeah. never and then you have to go through I don't journey think I've where ever there's had like sex rabbits in a dream. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've had sex with a dream. I had a wet dream. You did? When I was being Was it celibate? when your boyfriend was making making out with that girl on the on the stairs? No. Oh no, it was a different one. It was a different one. It would be funny if you were just had absolutely geysered. I then do like, geyser you that cheated kind of thing. I do geyser at people being like, get away from me. You geyser? No way. If you slide right off the bed? If people are if I'm fucking somebody and they're like, please don't come near me, totally. <laughs> 100%. You're fucking me. Do you remember like, that? Last yeah, time I say that on stage sometimes. You do that? Yeah. You stole my you're fucking me bit? I said that my friend said that women always are like, you're mm. fucking me. And my I'm like, friend said, that's a classic. And that Adam Friedland said, and then I'm uh -huh. like, that's because they're My friend friends. Adam Friedland? And that guy's an applause break? Oh, everybody stops. Everybody freaks Everyone's out. Everyone's like, that's your friend? Yeah, I have two. I have one that Nick said to me and one that you said to me. What did Nick say to you? Nick said to me... Um, Six million was too high of a number? He was like, why don't you just date a black guy? And I was like, I said that to you. No. 
Maybe, I thought, maybe I said because everybody you. fucking says it to me. Why not? Because I'm not going to date a black guy because I I think white is right. Well, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know who said John Mayer said that in Playboy magazine once? What? He said, I love black women, but my dick is like David Duke. Yeah, mine too. You I've only ever had sex tea? with with Irishmen. <laughs> Irishmen? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. That gets you off? Is it the just always angry it's the, Catholic? It's the red nose, the bloated. The no, not gingers, like stoic no, they Catholic. They big red noses from alcoholism. Yeah. Yeah, really. It's like freckle people. Yeah, yeah. Irishmen are good lovers. Or you wouldn't no, know. No, you no, haven't no, had any me, others. Yeah. You haven't had any. I did. I I had sex with one brown man, and I did not like it. Brown. Muslim. <laughs> nice, dude. That you should date a Muslim guy. No, actually. I hate it. That'd be cool. One of my friends is Muslim. Ismail's Muslim, and I'm always like, dude, I don't believe you. I think you're just Harry Pottering about Islam, because he like starts what reciting the Quran to me, and I'm like, yeah, you're just a dork for Islam. I don't believe that you really believe this. Oh, that he actually believes in God. I never believe people when they're really when they're mm -hmm. a practical person with like he's the most reasonable person, and then he's like, uh, well, Allah or whatever, and I'm like, don't you don't no way. He no sings way. at you in Muslim in Arabic. Always. He always qu quotes the Quran. He prays five times a day. And I'm like, I don't think that you think that you were accidentally born into the right religion. I wasn't. And you think I'm going to hell. Also, I just don't buy it. He was named Austin Powers, so I fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucked him Austin. in the bathroom because he showed me his ID and it was Austin Powers. People do that. People just have I hope sex. that Austin Power. No, that Austin Powers guy has been his entire life has been ruined by that. But I hope he at least got pussy a couple times off it. Does he look like Austin Powers? It'd be cool if he's no. He's just a normal guy. That there's a guy. There's also a guy that comes to Funny Mom sometimes, and his name is. I, someone was doing crowd work, and he's like, "Yeah, my name's his name's Tyler Durden." Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that I was kid. There for that. He's a really nice kid. His name is Tyler Durden. His name is straight up Tyler Durden. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. My name is Limp Biscuit. That's like a Tyler Durden is also just like a that's like a like a guy like a you know guys that are too into like a Punisher? I don't know what can I say like a in, in like a Bitcoin or like really into Tyler Durden. Really? Yeah, those kind of guys. You think? Guys that like uh yeah, yeah. They're like I want to burn down society and I have a I have a you know I don't know where this is going at all. Um Do you have any Bitcoin? No, not at all. Everybody's putting pressure on me to put money. I have all. I had all my money in checking until like the last couple of months. What'd you do with it? Nothing. You just moved it to savings. No, I don't know. So they, the okay. I gave it. To, uh, they do stuff with it now. Like they, oh, the, they, the Jews. Yeah, made off. He's good. Anyway, Maya's got big tits, huh? Yeah, my girlfriend has big tits. How Wait, can I tell something really embarrassing happened to me yesterday? What was it? So I went in. I went in for an audition. I told you. Yeah. And so like. I adrenaline pumping. I'm really nervous, you know, but it's funny. Like you walk into the waiting room and it's all like, it's five guys that look like you and they're actors. Really? So they're actors. So they're like thinking about what they learned at NYU and they're all like, you know, like, like nervous and like small. And I'm like, Oh fuck it. Like I'm a fucking comedian, dude. I don't give a shit about this. So I was like, Oh, it's so funny. We all look the same. They're like, ha ha ha. They all start laughing. And then like one guy comes up, he's like, are you Adam Freeland? I really like the show. And I was like, that's, you know, in my mind, I'm like, that's right, dude. I'm fuck these fucking yeah. actors. Like, you know, like I'm, I'm important, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, it's, you know, and then uh, they call them all in and this me, me and this one other guy. And, I, and I'm kind of really feeling myself. And I'm like, bro, you like, you been in movies? And he's like, yeah, I, I got a couple. And I was like, um, oh, like, have you been like the star of any of the movies? And he's like, I guess. Yeah. And I was like, oh, some fucking NYU's like thesis movie. Yeah, yeah. This fucking guy. Off Broadway. And I was play. like, what? Like anything I would have seen? And he's like, no, well, you wouldn't have seen my face. And I was like, what is it, like cartoons or something? And he's like, um, I don't know. I'm the star of the new Planet of the Apes movie, the one in theaters right now. He's like, yeah. Oh, my God. I just got back from the press tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god who is it so i'm like oh fuck dude i forgot that people do this for these guys are professionals yeah you asshole and some guys said they like the show but youtube show i was like yeah. these people are nothing and then like immediately like i'm like no but then i talked to him about like being in the monkey suit and wait stuff he and is like, the monkey he's the well, main that's monkey not acting he's, he's the main monkey. monkey 
He, he's a character, Jewish guy with glasses? No, he's not Jewish. He's like a very handsome guy. But the character is, is a pretty ugly guy. And I'm like, well, I'm uglier than him, so I got, I have a better shot. Yeah. And then and then I realized I was like, this guy played a fucking monkey. He could do anything. He could do anything. This guy could be a fucking ugly guy if he wants to. Yeah. He's super. And handsome. look who they cast. He's for really the girl. nice guy. Shout out to that guy. He's a very nice. They're not guy. gonna cast you because they cast that girl as the girl. Yeah. Don't. I don't want to say anything. I'm not gonna get the is thing. Too crazy. When I don't get it, I'll say what it's for, and everyone is gonna everyone's gonna get a big laugh. New Planet of the Apes. You gotta look at this guy. He's unreal. Is he? You don't know his He's name. He's so handsome. Phew. What is it? You look it up while I'm, I'm while What is I'm his name? Fume. Uh, he told me his name, but I forgot it immediately. What Fume. Is his, what is, oh, Fume. 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 Uh, pronounced F-U-M-E, spelled F-U with an umlaut M. All right, guys. You ever try to break a bad habit, and it felt like climbing Mount Everest in flip flops? You ever found you, that ever happened yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, we've been there too. But here's a breath of fresh air, folks. Um, fume is. Uh, it's not about. It's called fume. F U M. Uh, pronounced fume. Uh, it's not about giving up. It's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning, innovative, 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 that's not the word. Yes, it is. Fume is an innovative, fume is innovative, fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, fume uses air. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful characters, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. That's pretty good. This is a good copy, I think, yeah. right? Um, uh, it's a habit you're free to enjoy, and it makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, uh, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing anxiety while breaking your habit. Look at this, Jordan. Play with this. I have one. I played with it today. Does that satisfy you? That feeling. Yeah, this and it's does. it's nice and it's weighty and it's got a good wood and it comes in this lovely box. Just like Pete. <laughs> Just wow. Oh, well, now they know that a six nine guy is working with two five foot one men on a podcast. That's a good pitch for a for a for a sitcom, right? Um, or perhaps a drama, guys. Start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com. That's F-U-M-T-R-Y-F-U-M.com slash T-A-F-S and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the show 10% off when they use the code T-A-F-S, TAFS, um, to help making the good habit that much easier. Okay, we're back to the show. Jordan, what are you hey, looking at? Hey, Pete, is a 256 SD card fine for a 4K? Yeah. Two hours. Uh, yeah, if you're shooting in like 1080, if you're shooting in 4K, you might, you're gonna run into like, you're gonna have to you know, get 4K or 1080. 4K. 4K, I get a, I get 512. Get a 512. Get the 512, maybe the 1TB. Get the 1TB. You gotta get 1TB. Okay. Cool. Done. Okay, and now we're back. So, wait, proportional. Can we figure that out, then? Pete's I, I'm guessing. I have to see his hands. But I'm guessing that it's like... It doesn't mean anything. That. The hands don't, yeah, the hands don't mean anything. Actually, they don't mean anything. Is that right, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? Like that? Yeah. Right? Hard. So, yeah, that's like... What is that? Like four? four no. Three, maybe three and a half? Seven and a half. Eight. Seven and a half, eight. I'm very good at... I know exactly what your penis looks like. And there's no such thing as proportional, actually, sometimes. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I have a friend that's got, like, the biggest in the crew. And um, now he's ha he's been having mental health issues. Um, and he's been, like, texting us about, like... He's like, I'm having a hard time right now. And, like, I text my other friend that's in the group chat. And I'm like, honestly, I can't really take it seriously. I know. My hot friend got cheated on, and I just couldn't feel that bad for I her. don't care about hot. If you just, like... He tells me all this. He said girls have had to go to the hospital before. Well, that's a curse. 
Yeah, it kind of is. I was hooking up with a guy and I felt his penis and I was like, there's no way. So I just sucked on the outside of it like one of those fish in the fish tank. What do you mean sucked on the outside? (sighs) I couldn't get it in. Your mouth? My mouth. What? It was huge. So he's he he kind of does walk a lonely road. Yeah. Yeah. On this boulevard of broken yeah. dreams. It's so funny to be sad because your penis is too big. He is a sad boy. I'll tell you who it is after the thing. Is, really? Yeah. Is it in our profession? Uh huh. No. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't yeah. think like what's the point of being funny? I know. Yeah. Like I wouldn't get out of bed. I know. I just have delivery Uber Eats of pussy. Why is it? No, but yeah. Like, why is he doing stand up comedy? I saw pornography when I was 13 and I and they have large, very big ones in porn. And I, I have a small penis, not a small penis. Oh, OK. Not a small penis. But I thought because because uh, and also my penis wasn't, uh, you know, well, it, uh, 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 anyway, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to be I'm never going to have a wife. Because right. I thought that like it's supposed to be a baby's arm, and uh, you know, I'll, so I don't think that, it's weird that's that we always say funny. baby's arms. There's so for many other penis, things. For There's large... so many other objects in the world. Yeah, it's like does, why, why do we, we go why baby? Are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Why we just hit hard ba- every time? Yeah, yeah. Or like when you see a baby, you're like, oh, look at that two large men's pe- large penises. Every time I see a baby, look at those cocks. Look at those two huge dicks coming out of that face. Look yeah. at those two monster four. cocks. They got four dicks coming out of a them. baby's leg. <laughs> yeah, they're like five because they have penises often. It's inappropriate actually to do that to babies. That's a very fair point. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I just found out that this guy I know wants to be pee, pee in a diaper and be changed by his wife sexually, and it really upset me. He wants to, or he does it, that's their lives? He wants to. He wants yeah. her to do that for yeah, him. Yeah. It's not crazy. Do you want that? He pitched it. He pitched and it. And wife. And his wife is beautiful, and he's not. But think about this. Like, he's been living in pain the entire time they're together. No. Right? No, if you have a specific fetish like that, like... No, he just thought about it too much and then got obsessed with it. No, no. I think that like he knows that I have this specific thing and this is the only way I can come and, and it makes me feel like God, right? And anytime I'm in a relationship, I can't pitch it too early on because she, she's going to leave. I have to wait. Maybe 18 months in, I could, I could say, no, I need this No, he needs thing. to correct his perversion now it's his and keep wife. his mouth shut. I mean... I mean, I, I don't think sex, anyone should have sex. I don't think anybody should have perverse sex. Just it's relax. I'm, I'm actually very like happy. Like at this point, I I'm completely over. Uh, Do you have sex a lot in relationships? How often are you supposed to have sex? I'm very hungry. How often you're very hungry? Yeah. Just currently. Yeah. Do you want me to order Uber Eats? No, it's okay. You want what do you want me to get? You? Shake Shack. No. Okay. How Sweet often? Green. Uh, the nice thing about it, like if you live together. No. You want a sweet green? Yeah. What, what what kind? I want the hummus crunch salad. So you. Wait, let me ask. This podcast is just going all off the rails. I love it. I'll get you. Pete, I apologize. I love Pete. You guys don't know Pete. Pete's the best. Pete protected me from a crazy lady recently. Really? Yeah. Did we already talk about that, Pete? No, I haven't been here with you. Maybe we did. Who was it? Was it like another comic? Crazy, crazy stalker lady tried to cu- bum rush me af- as How I was getting How sweet green was the first thing? O- I never order sweet green. That's so scary. Yeah, it's scary. The hummus? hummus Pete, you probably. want anything? Okay, I got you. Kale Caesar. Order, order. Guess what I have for lunch, Pete? I got a Peter Luger's burger randomly. My car went over the Williamsburg Bridge, got a flat, so it's been in Williamsburg, and I was across the street waiting for the tow today, and I went alone. I felt like a businessman. The hummus? He wants kale Caesar. I want hummus crunch. I'm looking. <laughs> um, God. You know those days you just don't want a podcast? Hummus crunch. I really appreciate Order it. Order two of the kale and I'll pay you for it for the person who's coming. Sebastian Maniscalco. I saw him go up in L.A. He's incredible. I know. He's he's so, he's really good. I think he's the best. Anyone who's told me their problems and I find out that they have a monster, 
It just makes me mad. Yeah, but the thing is, sometimes the monster can feel like you can't live up to the expectation. It's same. It's how I feel about Maya and her tits. I'm like, I don't respect any problem she could ever have. What do you she mean? Could have cancer, and I'd be like, "But well, you have a beautiful body, and beautiful face, and big tits." Yeah, yeah. She could be dying of cancer. She could be dead. Well, the only thing is, then I'd she be like, be "It's dead. a waste of a good body." She <laughs> you know. <laughs> what a waste of that. What a waste of the what tits. What a great pair. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I don't know. I. I guess I. There's w- no escape. Even my trainer, who's the most ripped, hot woman I've ever seen in my life, gets cheated on constantly. She does. Just cheated. I was like, I'm gonna quit because you're saying that. That's the only reason I'm working out. Yeah, because guys don't want a ripped woman. She's not. She's hot. She's incredible. She's got one of those like no, like uh, doing squats, big ass thing. No. Can I see a picture of her? Okay. It's just one of those days when you don't want to podcast. No, it's it's just that, yeah, our attention spans are all over the place. You got allergies. I got allergies. I have terrible... We well, have brain fog. Yeah, but also I just had like... I we ha- can't say anything. We can't say we anything. We can't fucking say anything. What are you talking about? Oh, we can't talk about the war in the Middle East. Yeah, but what about... Da- <laughs> we, I, we, I, there's, a, there's a lot more. You want to talk about we it? We can't talk about... You don't know anything. <laughs> Who is the Secretary of State? Warren Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> who is the um who's Net the Yatu. head of Netanyahu? Yeah. Who's the head of Hamas? Uh Baghdadi. Is that true? That's the guy that Trump killed when he's like Nice. Yeah. Shane did that bit about it. What was it? About how funny it was when he announced that guy's death. Oh, Bag Bag Daddy. Daddy. Bag Daddy. Well, you do better Trump than me. We love Bag Daddy. We no. love to see him he dead. He said he died like a dog and like whatever. Died like a dog. <laughs> My favorite Gillis joke is the one where he says, where he's like, <laughs> the way Trump argues and he'll, he'll just like come into a whole thing and then just be like, your your wife has a dog face. Yeah. And like, Can you do that? And he's like, your wife does have a dog face. Though. That's really good. Yeah. Um, he probably wants him to win comedian. again just because. What's that? He can keep doing the impression. I want him to win again so the boys are back in town. That's what I know. I know. It was. I mean, like. It, I'm, I'm not so gonna vote sick for, of Biden. I'm jokes. not going to vote for Trump, right? But, like, it would feel fun to do yeah. it. And it's New York State. He's definitely going to win. So, you, like, to do it for fun is a possibility. Yeah. Just to know what it feels like. I've it's only just voted like once take for that Bernie women. Sanders. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good. That's a, I, we all did. Yeah. It's never gonna get better. Whatever. Yeah. You know what's better. crazy is like it's an election right now and no one ca- like no one's paying attention to it at all. Do you remember how it was? It used to be must see TV. It was huge when Trump was in those debates with all those clowns and he was being mean to everyone. That was like the best TV show I've ever seen. Yeah. What's going on now? People are talking about like the the twelve year old the people at Columbia in their tents or something. That's what the news is now. Yeah. The kids. The I protesters. mean, that's, that's not the new. Like, why? Like, there's a, literally a presidential election going on right now, and n- no one's paying attention. No. To it. Yeah, yeah. It's because nothing happens. It'll just waffle. We know exactly what it looks like with Biden. We know exactly what it looks like with Trump, and it didn't affect our lives at all. I was saying we should just tell them that they both won. I want somebody to win who wa- is anti-abortion. Because, anti-abortion. Yeah, because but they if, took it away. They overturned Roe v. Wade. Right, but I want it to be illegal for me to get an abortion because I do. You want to keep the next one. I just know so that I won't want have a kid if I can abort. I know that I won't. I'll so just be you like, want Ugh. every woman in the America to just suffer? Just me. I want to walk into a thing and then be like, so no, you want sorry. a law written just for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 think I had my funny. first lesbian thought the other day. Uh, what is it? I, I look like a lesbian? just saw a girl at the boxing gym, <laughs> and she was so hot, and I was like, oh. Uh, I thought it was you were looking in the mirror, and you are like, damn, I look like a, a no, lesbian. No, that's every day. That's oh, every yeah. day. Like, no, so I don't have to look in the mirror. I walk outside. Wait, you saw a girl boxing? I saw a girl at the boxing gym, yeah. and I was like, oh, I could date that. Really? What mm-hmm. does she look like? Me, a little. Really? That's the style of a gay guy, you know? The just two twins. Like, there's like yeah. you just see them, they're the exact same guy. The problem with lesbians is they, they do this thing with their voice. Like, I heard one of them training, and she's like, so how much can you lift? Like, they do a cosplay as a man thing. I know that people are going to be like, you're doing that. But they they, li- they they literally act like they're like being a guy. Yeah. And they talk like that. Mm-hmm. And it cr- is cringy to me. Yeah. And I think if you I... You think it's performative. It's insecure. It but looks they like do know how to like communicate with pit bulls. They do yeah. know My how to like... My mom just got two pit bulls. They do know how to do like. automotive repair. Yeah. You know. 
They, they do, yeah. They do have the respect of it. They're masters of animals and beasts. Yeah, why do they? Why are they so good with animals? Cats? I don't understand why. There's something, yeah, I send my dog to, uh, my dog can't be around other dogs. And my dog, my friend was watching my dog while I was out of the country. And he was like, yeah, I, d- I dropped her at doggy daycare yesterday. And, and apparently she, she was great. And I was like, she, I thought she, no, she'll go on a murder spree. She'll kill everyone there. No. And he was like, no, there was just some lesbian that was like, no. And Whoa. then she was like a good dog the rest of the day. Was it in Brooklyn? No, it was in Connecticut. Oh. He has like a, a wood shop up in Connecticut where he, where he. I forget whatever. that you have a pit bull. That's so crazy. Yeah, I know. I have a murder weapon. Is she a murder weapon? She's very sweet. She, I told, I've told this story before, but yeah, when I first got her. I have um, fear. Yeah, yeah, I, fe- I, you know, I'd never had a dog. I, I just like did it like a. It's crazy that Nick has a cat and you have a pit bull. Yeah, I'm like a sense. guy and he's like a girl. Uh, but yeah. not in waking life. I just like get met her on the street and I adopted her and I've never had an animal before. I was like, you met her on the street? Spur of the moment, like manic pixie, uh, like, uh, oh, I'll take you home. Yeah, I had wait, roommates and stuff too at the time. Wait, well you met her on the street because she was homeless, or you met her on the street because they were putting her up for adoption in like a cage? She's a homeless teen whore. Mm-mm. Yeah. This guy on the street was like, um, hey, I, I just bred her at my grandma's house. And she, she uh, now she has nowhere to live. God. And I was like, nowhere to live? And then she was depressed also because she just had her children taken away too, too early. How old was she? She, she was, uh, they bred her in her first heat. So basically she got her first Whoa. period and they knocked her up. You know so what? She's I, got big nips? She had long, like, distended nipples from breastfeeding. They've kind of shrunken a little bit. But so she was, like, really sad and depressed. But she was so sweet when I got her. And then I was on a walk with her. And I was like, oh, yes. Uh, like, I'm, so, I'm such a great guy. I've saved this whore from the streets. And uh, then she got in this, like, gory fight with another pit bull. Like, in Clinton Hill, which is, like, a Ooh. Hillary woman neighborhood. Yeah. And, at, like, there were just, like karen's like surrounding it like make it stop yeah. like do something there's blood blood yeah yeah and then uh this yeah there was like a bagger vance style there was like uh just a a ghost like a like an old black man who just appeared nice and, he, and he's like he's like you got to put a stick in that dog's ass yeah yeah that happened to my pitbull yeah. my pitbull growing up attacked a dog and a guy drove by and went put a finger in its ass and then somebody just yeah. did it and she was like Arr! And stop. You think if like two guys are outside a bar and they're like ready Dude, to 100%, 100%. go, hundred percent, put a finger in like one of the bros' asses, immediately gonna stop. And he's like, oh, "Sorry." Did she stop? Did somebody put a immediately. stick? Immediately. Was it a stick? Uh, I, I put my tongue. Actually. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. really nice. Yeah, yeah. Humane. Yeah, yeah. They weren't even fighting. Here's so yeah, they. But like, so then I was, I was like, now they're gonna put her to to the death penalty. Yeah. But I I guess the other people were like, uh, they were they were chill about it. But uh, yeah, so she can't really be around other dogs, but until she met this lesbian, and she, the lesbian was like, uh, yeah, can communicate with her. I guess lesbians are kind of pit bulls to some extent. My dog just hung We're out with two pit bulls. We're gonna keep this on the show. The Hello, I'm on, I'm doing the podcast. What's up? You got the do- the car? Yeah, I'm in your car. All right, thanks, brother. What is that guy fucked up on drugs? No, no, no. He no, he's not fucked up. You want to talk to him? Yeah. This is my my friend Jordan. She's a very funny comedian. Hi, Jonas. Hey. What are you doing Adam's bidding for? Does he pay you? Um, I'll get something out of it. Are you sleepy? I'm just, yeah, I'm fucking tired. Is it because you have allergies? He's a good guy. No, but I, I have some, yeah, I do have like the throat thing. I keep thinking I, I have the throat water. thing too. Me too. I didn't smoke any cigarettes, but I feel like I did. I did hit the vape a lot last night, but I do think it's the pollen. Yo, we're at, where are you watching Knicks? Where are you watching Knicks? Where are you going to watch the Knicks game? What do you mean? Tell Adam with, with him. That's why I'm... With him. At the, at the crib. At mine? Adam's wearing, Adam's wearing women's socks. They're not women's Tell socks. Those are women's socks. Because I, I don't have a car. I need to ride out. To he needs a ride. Game. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll drive that after. Um, what, uh, what, are, what, are, where, what are you guys doing? We're the recording podcast. a podcast. Come it's to the studio. It's the worst, dude. No, it's too far. Um, He's sleepy. Nice Jonas to, is sleepy. Nice to meet you. Nice to bye, meet you. Bye, Jonas. I love you. That's my brother, dude. I've always wanted he's a brother. He's really nice. Yeah. He's really good at basketball. All your notifications are covering up Maya's tits in this. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it's just, yeah. My, my background is. 
Your girlfriend. Her breath. I just want to be in a relationship where I'm the background of the guy. She, yours, your never. No, would never. Why? Because would have a picture of me getting a, a shot in the eye. Really? Yeah. Because it bro- it broke the the screen. It broke the glass. It would. Uh, he would have a picture of me getting sh- raped to death by eight apes. I don't think he that would. That would bring him joy. I don't think he would. He would have a picture of of just uh, your you spreading just AC this unit. Have you ever sent one of these in a picture? Oh no, I've never just sent a the vagina picture because I'm always worried it's going to come back. To You've me. never had a guy send you a text send sushi. Is that what you say? I don't ask for that, but that's what I would say if I wanted one of these. You would say send sushi. Send sushi. I wouldn't say that. Okay. No, I'd say send it a cheeky tasteful. Does anybody say send sushi? <sighs> um, no, I don't think so. I think I just made that up. My friend did. Uh, I was like. We were like I like send sushi. We were at a bar and there he was seeing a girl in LA and she sent um he she had sent a video of uh her masturbating for him cuz like he we were here. Yeah. And um And he wanted to And I saw it over his shoulder yeah. and I was and I was like it was Is that a cheeky tasteful? It was the least uh titillating uh sec- sexual It wasn't good. Was she being too hard on it? It was too gynecological. It looked yeah. like a like a pap smear. It yeah, looked you gotta like pull it back to one point five. <laughs> yeah. It looked. It was actually. It depressed me. He's like, and he was like, I don't know. Like, it was very nice of her to send this, but like, I'm not a, you know, it's kind of rude. He, I've seen so many of those on my friends' phones. It's my favorite thing to look through the DMs that. Girls just send like just just super. Ian zoom. gets narnar sushi slams. Ian gets uh, narnar sushi slams. He gets uh, from ladies? Yeah. Wow. So he, he says that he's a homosexual and then girls he's send that? He's not gay, dude. He's not gay. No, he's not. He's not gay. Maybe that's... But that is kind of predatory a little bit, no? To say you're gay when you're not gay? Yeah, Here's like, the thing. If I say he's not gay, he yells at me about how gay he is. If I say he's gay, he yells at me about how straight he is. So I, I, he has gone on a date with men before. He did enjoy it. It is true. He went on a date? Like he went mini golfing with a guy? He went sex, sex, <laughs> he's sushi. That's not a date. That's more of a No, hookup. they got Chinese food. They got Chinese food? Yeah. Did they go, they did. Uh, Kevin, I think his did, name was did Kevin. They go, they didn't go to the mini golfing and the, the guy put the, wrapped his arms around Ian and then they putt together? No. They because didn't do they that? just had to do the quick. They're men. They don't, they're not interested in growing a bond with one another. They yeah, yeah. They suck each other's dicks. That's what girls do. Yeah, Can girls want their arms. But I feel like it's so accepted now in society. Like the guys, like before, there was like, like it was okay to be gay. Like they were like really just it was in like dumpsters and like alleyways and stuff. And now you could just be like a you know, now you get like a fucking uh, prime Gold time star. Emmy for it or something. Yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> growing up with lesbian moms and having people be like grabbing other servers and pulling them in. I remember going to summer camp and all my friends w- staying up till 5 a.m. when my mom was going to pick me up so they could see a lesbian. Like, it was totally crazy. Like the zoo? Like the zoo. And my yeah, mom yeah. be like, what's up? Maybe that's why they're g- maybe that's why they're good with animals. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Because everybody's poking at them. Because everyone's like, look at the... My mom was a vet. The first time I heard the word, I was a little kid, It was, and my parents were listening to NPR, and they said lesbian, lesbian and I started crying, and... Th- because it sounded like an alien. It sounded like a Sounds lizard like alien. That's what I thought it was. Lesbian. And oh, was, it does. And they were like, why are you crying? And then I said, because it's the, they said something about like les- lesbian, uh, like uh, the lesbian movement or something. And I'm like, are they, cu- they're like going to come to earth? Oh, they, it sounded like a monster. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. I cried when the I lesbians watched. Lesbians are ascending. I, you know what I cried? I cried when I watched Dumb and Dumber when I was a kid. Why? My parents uh, rented it for me and they went out to dinner. I was with a sitter. When they give the little boy, uh, the blind boy, the bird and it's dead and he's petting it and he says, pretty bird. I just uh, started weeping as That's a little good. kid. You're I felt so sensitive. I felt so bad for the kid. Yeah. Oh, he didn't not know the that bird. the bird. I don't care about the bird. I just because I'm a lesbian. I care about the bird. Oh, you ca- you are. the. <laughs> No, I just thought it was like he he thinks the bird's alive. Oh, that would never bother me. Really? I can see a homeless man like folded over dying and I feel way more bad for the dog that's with him that's like healthy. I just, I don't care about people. But the bird, that is sad. I found out my mom was gay 
I didn't cry, but I walked in and I thought she was being attacked with a weapon, but it was a dildo. Really? Mm-hmm. You saw a woman yeah. using what uh, with her big, own, a big fat lady, yeah. A fat lady dildoing your My mom? dentist, to be honest with you. Your dentist, really? Yeah. Sounds made up, but it's and they're like, "Your checkups on Wednesday." Yeah, and I get had to out go, of I here. I had to keep going to her. I have a friend she put who her hands said he, he walked in on his dad having a threesome. Yeah, I s- I've seen my dad <laughs> have sex so many times. Really? So many times. What the hell is going? You don't have doors in your. In he your used family? to fuck a lot in a tent. If we'd go on a camping trip with this woman named Diane, I remember her name because his name was Jack, and it was Jack and Diane, little Diddy. Oh wow! And little Diddy cool. during a tent yeah. all day, and I Mel and Cam style. And then one time I stayed in a cabin, and I stayed in the attic, and there was a hole, and I would look through, and I would see, and I was yeah. like, "What are they doing?" And, they and you're like, "Dad, you're murdering that vagina right now." Yeah, you're absolutely. <laughs> he was crushed, and that I remember sucks. at one point he looked up at the hole, so it looked like he was looking right in my eye, and I was uh-huh. like. <gasps> Really all I, I've said this before, but all of my Latin American friends, like South American friends, have had an uncle who's taken them to a whore house at like 13, and they've all like cried and not fucked. Yeah, it's really traumatizing. Yeah, yeah, it must be very traumatizing. Imagine seeing a woman that age. Just you know, you would see an adult, like an older person, and then just having them be intimate all of a sudden with their crinkly face and too much makeup. Remember being a kid and seeing too much makeup and being like, "There's something bizarro world going." Guys on? don't know what makeup is. A woman yeah, could be wearing young. blue eyeshadow, and I don't know that she's wearing too much makeup. Really? Yeah, yeah. Girls, girls will say my girlfriend would be like she was wearing too much makeup. I was like, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's also funny, like um, when like a girl's like that girl's a bitch. I'm always like, well, she's I don't know. She has long hair and she's got boobs and stuff. She seems pretty nice. She's got long hair. She's I got can't boobs. like tell if a girl is me. <laughs> Oh, I was just really? like it's just a gr- wow. No, she she has long hair. She have she has boobs. That's not true. She's, you pick she, up on people's personalities. No, no. I I don't really. I I maybe I'm just a massage. Hot dumb bitches. You yeah. don't see the difference between. Yeah, I'm just like she's she seems great. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah that's infuriating. <laughs> I hate that. No, I want you to run a full analysis on every hot whore and be like. She's deficient emotionally she's so and intellectually. She's funny. She's hilarious. Oh my god, she's that is great. something. She's so good. She's she's so smart too. Wow. My guy friends will be like, she's funny, and then tell me something they said, and it's it's crippling. It's so offensive. It's crazy. Yeah, we're idiots. It, you guys are idiots. We're so dumb. It sucks. I we're wish I was so gay. Dumb. But it's fun to date a guy because you guys are so dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be. It is because you can just you you want to do activities. It's really confusing to, to date a girl. It is. It's yeah. It's so confusing. We're mad all the They're time. They're mad at you for s- not doing something that you, but it's in their head, and you don't know that they want it. Instead of saying that they want it, you should just you have know to we know want that it. they want it. And all of us just want to be swaddled, and we want you to scream into our faces, "I love you," and I'm not leaving. That's all we want. Just swaddle. I haven't found that experience. I because I, I do that on a first date. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I wear a wire on a first date. Why do you wear a wire? Because I record all my sets. You know, <laughs> why wouldn't I record all my dates? You know, I got. <laughs> I got. I told you I got a call after the war started from my guys to be like, <gasps> "How are you doing with this?" Wow. And I was like, "My career," and they were like, "No, the war against our people." And I was like, "We really do run Hollywood." It's, it's crazy. so true. <laughs> yeah, but Jews run Hollywood not because it's like what that's where the money is. It started off as like a very shameful we enterprise. Invent, no, we invented yes, Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. Hollywood because was like no, Jews if came you acted they, it was low, bro. My great grandfather was like a silent and he was like a scum uh he was a immigrant. silent filmmaker? He was a silent film actor because he only spoke Italian. Your great grandfather was? Yeah, he's No shit. And it was very scummy to be an actor, so then they were like, Well, let's give it to the Jew- the Jews, that's your industry, because you guys are scummy. Yeah, and then we they couldn't were like, get into the oil industry. We couldn't get into like uh to yeah, like uh coal or anything. So that yeah, that we went into the new one. And you did a great job. Yeah, and Jews made it up. It's like it's like our Palestine basically. It's really good. We we made it. You did a really good job. You did a really good job. We invented it. You've given yeah, you've It's basically Palestine. So many eating disorders, so much pedophilia. You should stop eating. I finally got the Jewish accent. I was watching that pedophile documentary. Wait, they all talk like that? Every, oh, man, I'm not Why is everyone watching this pedophile documentary? It's, it's nasty. Like, come over here, little boy. That's how they talk. They're worried. That's how Dan Schneider talked? That's how the free... the Is it the, the Freedlands? Oh, oh, capturing the Freedmans. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about the the fucking uh, the Hollywood pedophile, the Nickelodeon documentary. Everyone no, was that was crazy, but not as crazy as when I went down the Google hole of what Amanda Bynes is like now. Do you see what she? She looks crazy. Crazy. Why is she looking like that? Unrecognizable. You know what I saw today? What? Eddie Winslow from Family Matters. Yeah. I got th- I got this from I follow World Star Hip Hop on Instagram. Of course. He just did a por- porno with a trans. Uh, trans uh, porn actress that's fine yeah but uh, he's back in the news he's going viral again nice yeah, good yeah. for him yeah well drake from drake and josh made a whole music video going i can relate and at one point it pans over because he got molested and at one point it but just he shows. also did molesting too right no why did he get canceled because he, he drug he, addict he, underage girl underage but girl he, guess what happened to him i just saw what? go to his instagram He's like a he's like a, t- a TV star in Mexico now. Oh wow! Yeah, they were like uh, vamos, like come come over, Drake y Josh from the yeah. documentary. Drake y Josh, come o- come over. Drake, yeah. Drake y Josh, yeah. Josh. Drake y Josh, Drake y Josh, come vamos. Ordan, they yeah. can never say Jordan. Ordan. Yeah, he's like a just a TV personality in Mexico now. Since the doc, the doc did it. I don't know what did it. No, I guess it, he I, made a document. He made a music video where it pans over to a cream for like five seconds. Like it l- lingers on cream, and then you look up the cream, obviously because of how long it stays on it, and it's anal, like fissure. It's anal, like rub cream, like when you cut your an- everyone asshole. Everyone says uh, that is that's real. That's real. Isn't that crazy? Why? Well, he did music video. He's a musician now. Literally, the music video, it shows him going into a trailer with an mm. older man as a boy. Oh, God. It's so on the nose. It's crazy. And then it shows him in a hospital bed and it trails over to cream. And you're like, is that is that like sponsoring this music video? And you mm-hmm. look it up and you're like, oh, my God, it's butt cream. I mean, but it is like it's pretty obvious, like why that industry like attracts pedophilia, because it's like people who's like children who are desperate to be famous and yeah. whose parents are throwing them into that like yeah if you're like the guy deciding which child it is and a like lot if of you're times a pedophile you're, you're like i'm gonna get that job the guy who decides which child goes on lizzie mcguire and lizzie mcguire when she auditions has to look pretty she has to kind of act like an adult in order to be funny and cheeky yeah exactly you know she has to be like i'm a Adult girl, and they're like, that "Are you an adult?" Lizzie Show McGuire me. was. Yeah, that's what she sounds like. I was watching the news when I was growing up. I, I never yeah. watched any of that crap. I watched a lot of it. Really? Yeah. No, I watched. I love Drake. The news. You love Drake. I was in love with them. For the singer. Drake of Drake and Josh. Oh yeah. Have you ever looked up Drake's dad? I don't. Uh, no, I, I don't. I've never seen do Drake that. and Josh. Look up what Drake. Does he look no, like? no, Drake of the singers. Oh yeah, yeah, of dad. course. Incredible. Yeah, so sick. He's amazing. Have yeah. you seen him rap? Look up his rap. His dad. His dad. Apparently, people are saying that his dad, uh, like, was uh, getting pussy off of Drake, and it was a little bit not okay how he, how he did it or something. Who cares? Get I pussy don't where you care. find it. The fucking Drake and Kendrick thing. It was like it was just a. It was a huge week for white people. It was a huge week Didn't for, they not for even white guys. Jake, Jake Velasquez, shout out told me that in the rap off or whatever yeah. it's called they didn't even say any faggy they weren't even calling each other gay it was just like was it just like analytical emotional banter back and forth no it got to a place where drake said you beat women and then he said that you f- you fuck kids oh you fuck kids is a good blow yeah yeah that's good and drake is kind of stuck because he can't be like uh well 17 is legal you can't yeah, you say can. you 17 is legal you can't publicly Jerry say Seinfeld. that Yes, you can. It's crazy, Jerry. Crazy. It's crazy, Jerry. It's crazy. That was Jerry. season five of Seinfeld. That's when that was like must see TV, the number one show on television. How old was she? Fifteen? Like seventeen. Shoshana? She had big old she things was hot. too. She was hot. Seventeen's fine. Yeah, yeah. But Drake, in this day and age, Drake can't say that. If if it is seventeen, every seventeen year old looks like a fucking cum goblin right now anyway because they're all getting their boobies pumped up and their and their lip fillers mm-hmm, filled in and mm-hmm, they all look little. Mm-hmm, ah, mm-hmm. They're shaped to have mm-hmm. a penis speak, inserted. Speak on that. Speak on that. Talk and that then talk. old women are just becoming more seventeen year old look, looking mm-hmm, and everybody's mm-hmm. in, into kids now. Because no one's they're talking all, about that either. All these I old agree. women that are trapping pedophiles. They're like, I thought you were twelve. Yeah. And she's like, No, I let's went. get married. No. 
And he's like, you get to catch a, pr- uh, yeah, the, the, that's like a, that's the new way they do it. Yeah. Yeah. Catch a, catch an old bitch. No, they all look like Peking duck. There's two heroes in this world. Uh-huh. Marcus Monroe. Who's that? A comic who can juggle really well, who's married to a woman that's 15 years older than him. I love and that. And Paul Rudd, who has just a regular ass looking wife. He's a good guy. Homely, if anything. Yeah, yeah. Love it. I mean, I think that that is a... Have you seen Pierce Brosnan's wife? No. He's got a... He's got a, like a... A bag of shit? She's a big old gal. Yeah. Yeah, but is she like a beard? Because like Hugh Jackman's Maybe is a beard. Maybe he's gay. I don't know. But yeah. it is cool when someone has an ugly wife. It's great. Yeah. I don't have that option. I can't be like you a really... You could have an ugly wife. Yeah, but I can't be like, oh, it's like, look at that ugly guy with his ugly wife. He deserves that. Right? I right. can't be like, look at that sexy man... With that ugly wife, he must be have a heart of gold or be gay. Right. Or be a gay guy with a heart of gold. Or she's rich. I or automatically rich. think she's rich. Or she's rich. Yeah, yeah. I go she's rich quick. Uh-huh. But Marcus Monroe, his wife has a daughter that's like his age. That's what's crazy. Really? Yeah. And when a man does that. It's very strange. It's a pornographic film. Isn't that interesting? Mm-hmm. He's a hero, mm-hmm. but a, a man doing mm-hmm. that would be disgusting. Mm-hmm. Would you ever date an old ass man? Yeah. The problem is the breath goes. The breath goes pretty quick. It really quick. smells terrible. It gets I remember bad. that from synagogue when I was a little kid. Yeah. My Those old men would just teacher. blast you in the face with just the fuck. It smelled like poo poo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would go 50. You'd go 50? That's not old. What I about a 70 year old man? No, no, no. You know what I just found out? William Shatner's 93 years old. Oh my God. He looks amazing. I need to see what he looks like. <laughs> I need to see how old he is. All right. We, I hate podcasting. We're doing a great job. Are we? What's the guy? What's Ron These White posted a video where he was like, my mom died. She was 69 years old. Uh-huh. She was not 69. In the video, he looks 85. I think he's older than 69. Oh, his mother he just, just is so died? Drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Ma- people's looks can really fall off uh, suddenly or they could just like me. I'm, I look young for, for 37 but I, there's going to be a day where I wake up and I'm just hideous. I just like look like a like a disgusting woman. Like Fran Lebowitz, basically. Yeah, yeah you'll yeah. get to Fran pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look like a man pretty soon. I mean, it's already starting to happen, but... Really? I'm going to go full... Yeah, I'm going to age like a Native American chief. It's I'm just going to get square. How old are you? 30, almost 33. 33 years old? 33 wow. and May 28th. Wow. So are you freezing your eggs? No. So what are you going to do? I'll get the abortion laws changed. <laughs> Have you ever I caught a body? Oh, no. no. I've caught a lot of loads, no bodies. I, I caught think it might be a spittoon uh, can. It's happened Spittoon. twice. It's happened twice. For Same me. girl? Different girls. Yeah, I just that's great. Yeah. It's you, sad. It is sad. When it's it, really sad. It's really sad. I'm really glad that it's I haven't like, had to do it. It's not like, yeah. I'm always worried about a go haunting, Democrats. A baby it's haunting. not. It's it's sad no matter what. Like, yeah. 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 The first time, especially if you love the person. The first Even time, if you don't, then you're like, fuck that guy. I'm gonna have my little buddy. Yeah, I think it's it, the first time it happened. I was like m- in my early twenties, and. We went and uh, we got the address wrong of where the place was, and we thought it was in the nice neighborhood, and it was in a not nice neighborhood. Ooh! And uh, I like had brought the New Yorker to like w- l- wait in the lobby, and they were like, "Lay that down, and, and we'll cut all, it out of yeah, it." Yeah, it was all like it was all black dudes and me, and I had the New Yorker under my arm, and it was just like there were guys with teardrop tattoos that were on the phone with their mom. And they're like, Mama, that bitch lying. She said it was like supposed to be four hundred, but it's like six hundred. They said it was cash only too. I had to go to the ATM to pay for the murder. Why didn't you leave immediately? Hello. Hey, come in. Hi. Welcome to hell. Why didn't you leave? Why didn't I leave? What? And go to a different clinic. Because we. Because I don't know. We were, they were. She went into the room. I went in with my friend while she got a baby chopped out of her. Sucked it, sucked and chopped. It was really intense. Sucked and chopped. At one point she said, stop. I changed my mind. And they said, no, we already chopped it all up. Like uh, they put it in a, uh, what do you call they it? They chop it and then they sucked it before the pill. They chop it inside? Yeah. Chop really? it up. Suck it out. Yeah. Sushi it, style. It should. It is kind of, it is against Christ. 
Of course. It is a little bit. It's really bit. bad. It is a little bit. It is against God's plan. It is plan. a little bit against Christ. It sucks, yeah. I'm for uh, we have whatever the girls want, but it is a, like it is a little bit against Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, like... Yeah, that's a horrific thing. Have you heard of this guy Kermit Gosnell? No. There was this guy in Philly who was like the like they there was like a, a like the FBI busted busted him and he was like the uh the the DIY like uh like bringer of death and he was like doing like very unsafe uh abortion practices. Ugh. I think also like after like birth he was like killing them. I think they they described the scene that they walked into and it was like horrific. Like I'm gonna faint. Placenta. I'm gonna pass out. Why do we? What is the? What is podcast? What is the? Why do we do? Like I don't know, but it makes you money. So just shut up. We could just hang out with each other. We are hanging out, and then we're just talking about this nasty stuff. We can't say anything we really want to say. People are at home, and they're like, "Where is Nick? Where is Nick?" (laughs) They're not saying that. Where is Nick? The Jew. (laughs) It's the Jew and the and the and the fuck. That bitch, that bitch in the Jew. They're not saying and they're, that. And he's he repeated that story. <laughs> that story was from that story was from 2018 May 3rd. I have it on the spreadsheet. He said it on Come Town. Stop, stop calling him gay after he told that story. Why are you turning all of a sudden? So I just Why don't want to podcast today. I don't want to podcast today. You don't have to. I don't. I'm an actress now. I'm an actress now. Wait, what happened with the I'm an actress. I, guess what? I had one taste of the Hollywood life going in for one audition. <laughs> and now I've, saw, I've seen I've seen what I could be doing instead of this. Chateau Marmont. But what about cocaine. the abortion made you feel this way? What's it going on? It wasn't the abortion thing. It's because we talk about this nasty stuff. On, on oh, yeah. You hate the nasty stuff. I'm just sick of this. It's be, be, uh, we talked I about this last time. I forget that you hate here. the nasty stuff. It's just too gross. And we didn't talk about that. So we talked about probably anal or like, something or Indian yeah, and people. Yeah, and it's like still, still birth Gaza, still birth uh, <laughs> prolapse <laughs> anus got and they're like oh don't don't tell me like it's my first amendment if we right we're hanging out we'd be it's talking my, about our friends and we're not allowed to talk about that talking we can't talk shit about, about the, people uh, yeah. I, that's all i want to do is talk shit about people i know right it's really hard so let's just talk shit okay first mike racine huge dick <laughs> uh, <laughs> massive penis. we can't even do it ridge wall okay let's do an ad for this i lost my ridge wall they're gonna love this okay uh, oh, my girlfriend said uh, it's from Restoration Hardware. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. She's trying to get a couch, guys. And now, like, people know you're trying to get a couch. That's fine. It's I like, don't care. This is against Christ. Well, you make you do this nothing all Christ. day but put your penis between two giant titties I don't do nothing just so all that day. you do this. No, yes, you don't. I don't do nothing you all day. You lounge around. I work hard. You just went to the Bahamas or wherever the fuck. I went to Jamaica, and it was I, because... Th- Why would you go to Jamaica? Because I have a lot of respect for what that culture has given <laughs> me. You went to Jamaica? Yeah, why? I don't know. It seemed odd. It's a tropical island? How'd you like it? Trump was right. We should have a whole country. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, it was that. beautiful. I love it. Did you like it. the patois? Is that why you went? Because you got all into the Chet Hanks Yes. Stock? I've, I've been doing Duolingo patois. And I went there and I was like, ear me now, ear me now. Nice. <laughs> this, be, this be Adam Friedland. <laughs> I did my act. I, I got uh, booed. And then I I, I uh, did some daggering. Do you know what daggering is? No. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, it's like the dance, the sexual dancing style they do. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Where it's like just, it's just. Yeah. It's that. Did you do that? No. Uh, read the read the wallet. I did it and uh, I hurt my penis. How long were you there? We don't have to talk about that. See, we can't even talk about that. We can't even talk about. It. Were you at a resort thing, or did you stay at like a little no, Airbnb? Oh, nice. I was with my uh, my friends from co- my Jewish friends from from before, from the di- from before, Ugh, so from, much, from so before much the screen. Sorry, so I have a bad attitude right now because I'm an actress. Is it because you're hungry? No, I ordered you a salad. No, <laughs> I had a, I told you I had a hamburger before this. Okay, we can cut all this. I'm just stop fi- telling him to cut things. It's going to be two minutes long. That's fine. That's what they get. No, I like the freak out. That's going to be must-see TV. Guys, the Ridge Wallet. Uh, Ridge launched with a simple belief. Ridge launched with a simple... So embarrassing, guys. Cut that. 
Ridge w- launched with a simple belief that uh, they can make wallets better. I do like Ridge Wallet, and I Everyone lost mine. Loves so, it. Ridge, if you're listening, please. Send Two me Kickstarters in. over ten years and over five million wallets later, they're still starting every day with that same mentality. Only now, it's to improve all the items that you carry every day. So, guess what, guys? They've expanded their lineup to keychains. Uh, pens, backpacks. I use the backpack, the Ridge commuter bag. It's very good. They have aluminum wallets. They have RFID guards in their wallets. Uh, guys, they had a fucking uh, Super Bowl ad. They're only advertising on the show because they they uh, f- uh, they feel bad for us. Wallets, uh, no, they've actually been big supporters of the show. We shout out to Rich. But wallets for too long were designed to hold everything. Receipts, gift cards, and anything else you can stuff in there. I used to have condoms in there. Well, years before I fucked. I put, I put a condom in there. I think I, I had a condom in my wallet maybe six years before I actually had sex. That's good. That's like manifesting. It's like Jim Carrey's write yourself a million dollar check. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm going to use this. And then I used it, uh, but it was a kind of more of a solo situation. Yeah. Yeah. Practice. You ever do that? Jack off into a into a uh, condom did you do it after health class no when they gave us condoms in health class i went home that day afternoon jacked off into it just to feel like what it's like to <laughs> wear a condom <laughs> uh they he, turned he wanted to put you on mic and give you a voice modulator no 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 do you want to do a voice modulator like a like a, we're doing a documentary yeah and then diddy Invited me to one of his pool parties. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he wanted me to be a rapper. <laughs> I said, I've never even rapped before. He said, don't worry about it. Get on the couch. <laughs> uh, they turned, uh, he, they turned basically, well, uh, they turned everything on, th- on its head. What is it? I can't even read anymore. <laughs> Oh, okay. So for, okay. For too long, wallets were used to carry everything, like gift cards and anything else you could stuff in there. And then uh, they turned it on its head. They turned that on its head. What does that the even mean? The copy's bad. It is Is really that like bad. break dancing? Yeah, they turned it on its they head. They turned that on its head. It's a great company. Uh, with a, their minimalist first approach to design, so carry less and live more. We have a lot of friends that use these. Mike Racine uses it. Huge cock. Uh, you can build... <laughs> <laughs> the materials, guys, are solid quality products that, uh, and they use quality materials. Uh, basically, their approach is material first, uh, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds that sounds good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it sounds it's good. It's good. Yeah, you can't oh. feel it. Also, you think you're gonna not be able to feel it in your back pocket, but you can't feel it in your back pocket. Yeah, it's the it's the micro penis of wallets. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Uh, multiple girls have told me that like a you guy a has, has has brought no a guy has taken it out, and they're like, they're like, they felt bad enough to just let him. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. It would I've be done so that. mean to say not. Uh. I've had a tiny penis unveiled, and I've been like, I'm gonna do. That's so nice. Yeah. What That's am I gonna so nice. do? Get it out of here? I've done. I've said get it out of here to a big dick because then I don't feel bad for One them. One time I had a bad day, and a girl <laughs> I was dating gave me a, a two hand, and I was like. You don't need two hands, but it's two so hand she really she sweet. did it to be nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm like, that's really nice. But it's awkward when you try and do the two hand, but they're not a two hand guy because then you you know I, I can, have too big of hands. I can do a little bit two hand if it's a child. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Ridge Wallet, uh, never mind. Uh, they they, they that's. Uh, it's a great everyday carry. So they've taken their innovative design and material approach to create products that you can rely on. The items you carry every day are your tools for better living and make them something that you can count oh, on. Oh, look, look, look. Ridge wallet key thing. People I have love this. this key thing. I love this key thing. I hated it when I first got it, and now I really love it. Yeah, you walk around, you got jingle jingle you, in your it's pocket. Got good, it's got good torque. Yeah, when look you at use that. it, it's Torx. Look at that. Really that's nice. a f- that's a phenomenal. What you know? I have these keys bouncing around, bouncing around. You know, and when you're sneaking up on someone from behind, yeah, that that completely blows your cover. So you can, can use I one ask of the, you if, Yeah, is this funny? Every other culture calls promo code Ridgewall.com uh, discount 
Ridge.com, promo code TAFS. Go ahead. Every other culture calls... I don't like when you talk about different cultures. Every other culture calls sneakers like tennis shoes. Trainers Basketball shoes, trainers, and we call them sneakers. What do you mean every other culture? In different parts of America, they say. We're sneaking up on people. What? (laughs) Yes, let's go. Yes, it feeds the man. (laughs) <laughs> there's something there but like it's not a cultural i mean in like in like uh ohio they probably call it something like uh yeah tennis shoes or something no i don't think it's like that oh yeah dude pete's the best wait what do you say go, i have a joke about black people that they are loud i don't but like it's just, that okay sorry okay go ahead that they are loud but it's just because i white have a pe- joke about black people <laughs> i have a joke about black people being loud i apologize and but Being it's just loud. because what yeah because they are loud they're loud uh-huh. and it's just because white people have been scheming since the beginning of time and oh okay that's the joke so that would go good with the sneakers thank you Pete. so they should learn how to how to scheme too yeah that's what the sneakers are for maybe if you stop calling them basketball shoes you quiet the fuck down <laughs> Dude, Pete's my biggest fan. I love this. He's <laughs> loving it. Yeah, it's great. He's loving He's it. Saving me all day. <laughs> He's loving it. I'm doing nothing today. Give him a mic. <laughs> Pete, you wanna you wanna mic in the in the control room? Pete, is the food here? Yeah, where's the where are the salads? <gasps> How'd you get? We that? have enough. No, no, we'll get we'll get like an, another five minutes. Five minutes. And then we could have salads, talk shit about people. Okay. Okay. That sounds great. Just like sex in the city, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've never had anal? (laughs) That's what we're doing. Have you ever seen sex in the city? Every season. Me too. Multiple times. Who's your favorite boyfriend? (gasps) Burger. Thank you for asking. Me too. He's the best. No one says burger. Burger's the best. No one says burger. Yes. When she hits him in the face with the the shoe and he goes, is that a pet? I hate Aiden. You know, he's back on the new show. Yeah, I know. They had to kill Big because he sexually assaulted Big? everyone on set. Do you want to know set. something really honest? Yeah, go ahead. Big. Mr. Same Big? exact thing. No. Big. He's a multi-millionaire? Yes. And he has a driver? But it's the same dynamic. What do you mean? With the... He calls you at night. He's like, hey, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's divorced? Yeah. He has a driver? Yeah. He died on a Peloton? Yeah. He sexually assaulted everyone on set? 100%. I don't see you that way. I see you as a Steve. But everybody, you always say if it's an Aiden or a Big or a Burger. Yeah. And plenty of Aidens. Burger is the best because he's also Burger a writer. Rules. And he's just he's just like, this bitch is doing like like uh, shitty writing about getting her ass fucked and stuff. And he's probably really good at writing. And it probably drives him nuts. Yeah, he was too. And also Ron Livingston. What happened to that guy? Great actor. Office no. Space, Band of Brothers. No, no, he we has a show now. Him. He has a show now. What is the show? It's the show that you clicked the other day that we, we watched for two seconds and we were like, oh, it's really bad. Remember? No, no, no. The other one, it was two seconds long. I forget what it's called, but Burger's the star of that one. It's called something. It has like an adaptation cover. I don't know. Wait, so she had a dream and then uh, got mad at you from the dream? You can say it quietly. No one's hearing you. Yeah, what is Many it? Why, why do they do that? They know that they, th- but they all. D- I've. I think it happened to me two months ago. Yeah. They're so mean in the dream. Really? Also, there is some honesty to it. It knows who they are in your dream, and it is. It's, it's what not completely mean? uncharacteristic in the dream. Because you just watch this person do a thing, and then you wake up, and you're like, I can't really deal. I don't want to talk about this. This is so gay. You brought it up, and now he's, he wasn't here to defend himself. I, I did. stood up for you. I stood up for you. I know that it's stupid to get Who mad. Who do they think if they are? If you see somebody in the dream do something bad, and you wake up, and they're next to you, it's hard to not be like, oh, hi. It's, oh, my God. You know what I heard, you know what I heard recently? When one person starts checking the other person's phone, it's because they've either already done infidelity or they're considering infidelity. So they want to catch the other I've person. I've never checked a phone. I've never checked a phone either. Because anytime I've accidentally seen something, I always find, you know what I mean? Like anytime I look over in any way, I always hurt my own feelings. Um, no, I know sushi. You see sushi? No, sushi. The first time a girl ever asked me for a, a picture of my penis, I said, I said, really? 
And uh, so I just I took so I just took a picture, and she's it, and I didn't know that flaccid. It was, yeah, it was flaccid. And she said, uh, "She's like, I'm. You kind of ruined my day." She was. I was like, I, "Oh, I didn't know. That, I didn't know that it was when I when that technology had just started." Yeah. You know. On a razor. Uh, on a yeah, I sent it on a uh, chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I sent it. I sent it on a no uh, sidekick. Next tell beep beep. I sent it on a, yeah, where you at? Yeah. Yeah, chirp, chirp, where you at? Yeah, I've never really been, I get dick pics sent to me all the time from unknown numbers, all the time. Really? Yeah. That's very smart, brother. Yeah. It's the same person, and I block him, and he keeps doing it. Really? Yeah. What if it's someone you know? We got to entrap this person. I've I've tried calling and being like, leave me alone. And then he, I just... You called the number? Yeah. It's kind of funny just to lead with that. Just a penis. Like, eventually you'll be like, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. It happens all the time. He said he got my number from Tinder a long time ago. Uh-huh. But then I looked it up and that it wasn't in the history. I saw on the street there's a, there a guy uh, in a car... And he was uh, street uh, harassing a girl. Street harassing. Like, I got street harassed today and, and I he, yelled at him. Felt oh, great. But it's kind of a little flip. No, I got really mad today. What did he say? He was like, what's up, beautiful? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, stop. I was like, please stop. And he was like, no, you would you want to have sex? You, 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 you got to do And I was like, what are you doing? You stop. He said, do you want to have sex? No, but he was just and he mumbling. sounded like that? Yeah, just the mumbling? black nonsense, you know, just, well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just z- 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 oh, all what's all right. the rice company? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there was a guy in a car and he goes... Uh, <laughs> he, he was just playing a saxophone and I was like, get away from he me. He was playing saxophone <laughs> no, at you? No, no. Oh, I'm just fine. saying black stuff. <laughs> oh, fine. Um, um, he, yeah, there was a guy in a car and then he clearly didn't have his bit prepared. Yeah. He didn't have his, li- he didn't have his line ready. He just saw the girl and he got so uh, aroused that he was like, oh, I got to say something. And then he goes, he just goes, please, please, please. Please, that's he kept awesome. Saying, Please. I and love goes, that. And then she stopped, and she's like, "What?" And he goes, "Uh, uh, why, why are you so beautiful?" That's what he said. And then she's, and then the he's like, and then he drove away because he was so embarrassed because he didn't uh, have anything prepared. My favorite is why a, are you so beautiful. A couple weeks ago, a guy drove by me, and he goes, "What's up?" Uh, he was like, "What's up, baby?" And I turned him because his window was right next to me. And I went, "What is wrong with you?" And then we both were so like jarred by my reaction that we both just started laughing. And he was like, "I'll see you." And I was like, "Bye." This is good. It, it, it is like a little bit like, I don't know. It's like. No, because it's never from I guess it a hot guy. Good. It's always from a gnarly dude. And you're like, I hate that you're even considering me as an option. I want you to not even see me. I want to yeah. blend into the linens of New York. You know, yeah. I don't want to uh, arrive on your radar. It's it, the, the, the batting average of that of those guys. Is, it's got to be very low. I don't know. I don't think it's ever worked. I probably. have friends who have fucked like Uber drivers and stuff. Really? Yeah. A booba car and stuff? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, he was a doctor in his country. I know. That's why she did it. <laughs> I told my dad I met a doctor. One of my friends fucked a... Chloe fucked a FedEx delivery guy. Well, that's like a... That's a kind of a... Fe- you know, like... Sex in the like City, That's like a porn Samantha. thing. Right? It's an AIDS thing. It's That's how you get HPV. It's not good. AIDS doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry for saying AIDS. I shouldn't have said that. HPV, uh, that's the thing that it, herpes, it's only for whatever. girls. Yeah, that's so funny. You have it too. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't do anything to guys. No, it's really fucked up. <laughs> it's because of our fish tank. <laughs> if we didn't have a fish tank. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, I mean, I guess like, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the batting average has to be low. But like, I don't understand. Like, oh, I went to like I told you I went to a lesbian bar. Yeah. With two lesbians. Yeah. And and I was like, let's go to the club. Yeah. And they were like, there's just one bar left in New York City for lesbians. Yeah. And the uh, the hole, the, the bottle hole, hole, the cubby hole, the cubby hole. Yeah. Dude, I got stalked from the cubby hole. I went into the cubby hole with my gay friends, got a stalker, and it was intense for a little bit there. Patty. At the place. At the cubby hole. Girl. Yeah. Okay. So I was there, and there was another guy there. I thought I'd be the only guy, right? No, and I was like, go. I was like, I'm, I'm about to get, pay respect to the culture. And then there was another guy there and I saw him the second we walk in, he goes up to my girlfriend. And he's like, what's up? How you doing? And I was like, here, 
of all places here i was like fuck off bro like get yeah. like and i was like what the fuck is going on like this happened here and then i like keep watching the guy all night and he's going around and at first he's starting with like the lipstick ones and then he's hitting up like maddow's He's hitting up Rapinos. He's going mad out. He's like, he's go. He, then he he starts going for everyone, and, and they're all like, "You understand what this place is?" But like, I and the, at a certain it's kind point, of a good move. At a Lesbians point, was, do require the dick sometimes. They at do. A, at a certain point, I'm like, this this is the most amazing man I've ever seen yeah, in my that's entire good. life. He is doing the right thing because lesbians do crave cock, and if they're not getting a woman, then they will just do that. I don't and think they, that. Yes, they, they do. F- I dude, I my moms, they do it. Not I, one of them gags. They fuck guys. Occasionally, my mom, my biological yeah. mom, will he'll, she'll go get some strange. They can't have sex with each other. Yes, right. <laughs> because they don't have vanities. No, but like at a certain point, it's like that guy, uh, like what, like what happened? And then I went up to him again. I was like, "What's, what's, what? What are you like? What are you doing? Like, I, I'm like fast. I just have to know." And then he was too drunk to even explain. Oh it. well, that's. But I'm like, answer. is this your thing? Is like getting turned down by lesbians? Like your he fetish? W- is a wasted guy who wandered into a bar and went, "So many ladies, perfect. Yeah. Let's Dude, go." The ratio is popping yeah. in here. Yeah. That's what happened. Totally. Dude, I I no, saw this Woods, chick Woods who Woods is like, another gay bar. Woods Woods. Woods is in Williamsburg. It sucks, but I've been there a million times. But it's for chicks. Both gays. Both Do lesbians even gays. have songs like that? Like yes, gay Alanis guys Morissette. Have like, oh, the, they have come that. to my window. Oh, Who's that? Okay, I'll I guess, be yeah. home. Who's is that? I'll be home. Crow. For cri- whoever crow. M- I'll be home for Christmas is the lesbian Come song. Come to my window. Oh, uh, uh, I'll be home yeah. soon. Come inside. That's lesbian. Because gay guys. Dixie it, chicks. It's like the vibe. No dicks the for The vibe chicks? of that place was so like, it was so somber. It was so like, like uh, I just got to get out of this town. Like that kind of it's thing. It's too tight in there. The But like at a gay place, they're like, you know, they're making it rain. They're like. Uh, Ugh, gross. They, like, do you believe in life after love? It's too much. It's like a, it's a, it's a carnival, you know. It At is that a place, carnival. it was like, it was like. Yeah, a, lesbians are sad people. Oh my god, these people don't fucking care. We have to just fucking talk. And oh my god, you're flipping again. <laughs> What's going on? All right, let's call it. Let's call it. Let's just have salad. Okay. Any final thoughts? Closing thoughts? No. I'll be guys. I'll be. I'm starting a solo pod called R.I.P. Jordan Jensen. <laughs> really? Yep. Is he is he in cool with that? You yeah. told him. He promoted it. Oh my god! Good boy! Wow! The congratulations! Thank you so much. Is uh, you're all alone? Like Bill Burr? No, Monday no, no! I podcast? have other people on, but non-comics people. It's like psychology, philosophy stuff. Okay, so keep it. Uh, look out for that. Another podcast uh, <laughs> for in comedy, um, guys. Uh, I'll be in London. I think Vancouver, maybe London. Spokane. A uh, bunch of dates, and then I think I'm going to do a special in the fall. And then Don't I'm do going a special. to kill myself. Don't do a special. What? There's too many specials. Wait. Don't do a special. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Don't do a special. I've been doing stand-up for 13 yeah, years. Yeah, you gotta wait. What's the point Just of doing... Just wait. It's a boom right now. You gotta wait for it to calm down. A boom in specials? Yeah. You think specials are gonna stop? They're gonna slow down. And then I do my special? Yeah. When is that gonna happen? Next year. Next year? Yeah. How do you know? Ari Shafir sat me down and talked to me about it. Oh, Ari Shafir said that? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hmm. You don't think another comedian telling another comedian don't do a special? You don't want it to be Stav, Nick, and then you, oh, I have one too. You Wait a second. Just wait. Yeah, but what if I have the one of the finest comedy specials of all time? That's what we all think we have, but the thing is that we don't. Just wait. What's Ian's called? Live, laugh, l- love. <laughs> yeah. That's it's funny. Wild, happy, and free. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, keep an eye out for my special. It's called Pimp Chronicles Three. Check out Wild, Happy, and Free. Don't ch- uh, check yeah. out Death Chunk. Te- what's Death Chunk? You? 